All right, just dropped off the mags. <laughs> so I walked in with them. There's a bunch of people in there. It was like, I heard you want magazines with the guns you get sold, you greedy bastard. He's laughing. Like, Here you go, brother. I'm sorry about that. He's like, he's laughing. It's no big deal. All right, so uh, that's done. I'm going to go top off my tank at a different gas station. Uh, that's it. It's pouring rain. There's nothing else to be done right today. Um, I still got that thousand rounds of nine on the way. Should be here next Friday. Um, I have the I have two spare dots now. I got the 507CX2 and the 509T. I sold two handguns. Uh, I'm thinking I might try running the 507CX2 since I believe I in the box I have the pick mount. Um, I'll, actually, no, I gotta check my for, for Unity uh, LPVO mount. That J arm, I bought both plates, the RMR and the uh, and the aim point footprint. So I'm gonna see if I can run that 507 CX2 as an offset on the Unity. Um, as far as the 509T, that's the only thing that's up in the air. You know, I'm thinking I, I still have my that pretty good holster that I ran my 19X in. I'm thinking I might pick up like a 19, a standard 19 MOS. I don't know, I'm still debating. Uh, and I pulled the trigger on a Radian Model 1 upper set. <laughs> it popped up out of nowhere on Optics Planet in the Lord's Color, OD, well, they call it Radian Green, but it's OD Green. It's the, uh, I got the 10 inch. You know, it's been my goal to put a proper Model 1 upper on that Radian ADAC lower since I bought it. I haven't had it long, but the last two years, that was one of my dream guns. I want as close to a Model 1 as I can get, right? Uh, and the price was great. I had a 25, I had a $25 off uh, coupon code that was already in my cart from, from one of the, for YouTubers. Uh, from the last time I logged in, like, a, like eight, nine months ago. And they're they're in stock. They they just dropped out of nowhere. They had different sizes, different colors. I figured uh, green. I chose the 10 inch. They didn't have green in the uh, longer. And uh, frankly, I want the Radiant to be a. Uh, he's gonna be an excellent candidate for for SBR. That's gonna be my shit hit the fan go to rifle. Uh, and I'll probably finish it off with a Centurion Arms Goldheimer Forged 11.5 barrel. And then, uh, you know, that'll be my trainer, my main focus, my shit hit the fan rifle. I'm probably going to let go of the Sun Soul Snatcher 13.7. I'm probably going to let go of the uh, redacted build that I put together. The redacted is a 14.5. Um, I'm probably going to let go also of uh, definitely the Battle Arms 13.7 with the Roscoe Stainless. I still haven't shot. Those three are, are going to go. Because I'm like I said, I want to consolidate, get down to a handful of good quality setups. I mean, I got my ADM 11.5, I got my Geisley Fed 10.5. Now I'll have the Radian 11.5 uh, as well. Um, as far as the 13.7, 13.9, I have that upper that's on the Radian now. That's the uh, that, that's the Triarch with the uh, uh, the V7 Enlightened upper with the 13.9 Triarch. That'll be a stand a standalone upper. At some point, I might buy like a Zev Ambi lower and, you know, maybe toss it on there. I don't know. I'm not doing anything with it for the meantime. Uh, you know, I'll run it. When I'm not running it, I'll just, I'll put, I'll put the upper in the safe. It is what it is. It's a realization of a dream of mine. I'm doing it. I still have more cash left over. That's why I'm thinking about picking up a 19 MOS or something along those lines to get one more handgun. I've got my SIG 365 XL. I've got my Walther PDP uh, 4 or 5. So I think what makes sense is a good 4-inch Glock 19X size for the middle of the road, you know. And I, I have that holster for the 19, so that makes sense. And it's, it's, it's a Glock 19. It's proven. It's reliable. It's, it's a good gun. The thing I didn't like about the 19X was the longer grip. It was printing a bit much, so. That seems to be the direction I'm heading. 
I'm looking into uh, the Volusia Gun and Hunt Club, I think might be the final choice on where to join. Because uh, they offer a lot of the amenities, they host all the SIG classes. It seems like that's, that's a good home, uh, a good home club where I'm going to meet some really good, serious dudes and probably get a, a, a lot of tips and pointers and then start taking classes and go from there, you know. So that's it. Hope you're having a good day. There's a monsoon dropping. It's, it's dying down now. Let me go top off the gas tank. Wish me luck. <laughs> see you when I see you. Peace.